Graphing the equation of a line, this is lesson 3.6b, which tells us there's a 3.6a. So if you missed it, you might become confused. And there's a link to the geometry playlist in the description to watch the 13 previous lessons for chapter 3. We now know that we can use the slope formula to find the slope m of a line that goes through two points, x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. It's the first point and the second point. And this slope formula is the vertical change over the horizontal change. It's the rise over the run. And we learned the slope intercept form of an equation is used when we know the slope m and the y intercept b. And the y intercept is where the line crosses the y axis. And point slope form of an equation can help us find any point on the line as x, y, by using a known point, x sub 1, y sub 1, and by using the slope of that line. So this is the point slope form. This is the slope intercept form. And this is the slope formula to find the slope. We can graph the equation of the line y equals 3 halves x plus 3. And this equation is in the slope intercept form with a slope of 3 halves and a y intercept of 3. The slope is m, that's the 3 halves, and our b is the y intercept, it's a 3. And the coordinates of the y intercept are 0, 3. And we plot that point. Looking at our slope value, we see 3 halves, that's the rise over the run. So we plot a second point 2 units to the right and 3 units up. So we know that our rise is 3 halves, that's a 3 over a 2. We also know that the y-intercept is a 3. It told us in the equation. That's where the line's crossing the y-axis, at the 3. So we put a point at 3 for y and 0 for x. That's how we got the 0, 3. Now we know our rise is a 3 and our run is a 2. We can go over 2 for our run and up 3 for our rise and put a point there. And then we can use a straight edge to draw a line through these two points. And we have now graphed the equation of the line y equals 3 halves x plus 3. We can graph the equation of the line y plus 3 equals negative 2 times x minus 1. This equation is given in point slope form with a slope of negative 2. We know the m is the slope, so that's a negative 2 there. And it's through the point 1 for x and 3 for y. That's our x sub 1, y sub 1. And our y sub 1 value is negative 3. See how it says a positive 3? Well, in its ordered pair, our value is going to be a negative 3 because the point slope form of an equation begins with y minus y sub 1. And our equation has y plus a y sub 1 as y plus 3. So how did we get to this positive 3? Well, if we have a negative 3 for our y value, then we'll have y minus a negative 3. See? And when we're subtracting a negative, we add the opposite, and that's how it got to y plus 3. Okay? So that's how we knew it was a negative 3, because we see a plus 3 here, and that's not the way the point-slope point form goes. And we see we have a negative 2 slope. A negative 2 slope can be written as negative 2 over 1, so that we can have our rise over our run, and it's a negative, isn't it? So knowing that this slope is a negative, we know the line's going to fall to the right. And we plot the point 1 for x and negative 3 for y. If we look at the equation, we've got 1 for x and this negative 3 for our y in order for that to be positive, right? So that's our ordered pair. So we plot 1, negative 3. And we look on here. 1 for x would be right here, and negative 3 for y would be down here. So we plot the point right there. That's 1, negative 3. Now, we know our rise and run are a negative 2 and a 1. So what we're going to do is, from this 1, 
comma, negative 3, we're going to have a negative rise, negative 1, negative 2, that puts us here. Our run is a 1, so we're going to move over, and we put a dot there at 2, negative 5. That's our second point. And we use a straight edge to draw a line containing both points. So, remember that when we have a negative slope, you just know in your mind that the line is going to be falling to the right, okay? That'll help you to know if you're making it correctly. And we can graph the equation x equals 3. If our equation just says x equals 3, well, the equation is given in the form of a vertical line with an x-intercept of 3. And the equation tells us that the x-coordinate of every point on the line is a 3. So if we made a table of values for our ordered pairs, every single x value would be a 3 as the y would change. So we could have y is a negative 2, y is a 0, y is a 2, y is a 4, but all the x values are going to stay 3. That makes a vertical line. We draw the vertical line through 3 for x and 0 for y and just make it go straight up like that, okay? So when you just see x equals 3, you know it's a vertical line, okay? And it's going through 3 for x. If we see y equals negative 4, well, this equation is given in the form of a horizontal line with a y-intercept, which means in our table of values, it says y equals negative 4. Every single value for y is going to be negative 4, but x will change. So, the equation tells us that the y-coordinate of every point on the line is a negative 4. So we put a dot at negative 4 for y and 0 for x, and we just make a horizontal line. So this line could have the coordinates negative 3 would be about right here for x, but it would be negative 4 for y. It could be 0 for x and negative 4 for y, 2 for x, negative 4 for y, 5 for x, negative 4 for y. And no matter what point we chose, no matter what coordinate we chose for x, y would continue horizontally. Okay? Now, we covered all this in Algebra 1 in Chapter 7. You should take Algebra 1 before Geometry. And if you don't remember or you need a quick review, I'm going to have a link to the Chapter 7 Algebra 1 short playlist in the description so you can watch them, okay? Our next lesson is pairs of lines. And we're going to do a system of two linear equations in two variables. That'll be 3.6c. We have only another one after that. We'll be at chapter 4. So I hope you remember this from Algebra 1. And if you don't, you can watch this video again or click the description and watch that Algebra 1 Chapter 7 playlist. It goes into more detail, and hopefully it'll help you. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.